Hi, I'm Mike Regan with Transact's Two Minute Warning for the week of August 18th. In this Two Minute Warning, we're wrapping up our session on conducting world-class LTL sourcing events by taking a look at that final stage, negotiating the contract. <laughs> In an environment where transportation rates are going up, it's more important than ever before that your company make a commitment to conducting world-class LTL sourcing events. And that's why over the last couple of weeks, we've been looking at how your company can do just that. Now, some of the things we've looked at is how you need to benchmark your data to understand where you're at, to determining what's included in the RFP and which carriers are going to get the RFP. We then talked about what happens when you get all those proposals back and the kind of analytical tools you need to determine which carriers are going to get awarded the business. And that's why in this two-minute warning we want to look at the final phase. You've now decided which carriers you're going to use and you've entered into contract negotiations. Now as you do that there are three things we want to make sure you do. And the reason why we're so passionate about this is because we review a lot of transport con transportation contracts and see flaws in these contracts and mistakes that don't have to be made. So with that thought in mind, here are three things we want you to do. First, have a good transportation attorney review your contract. Now, if you've got that attorney in-house, great. If you need some references for great transportation attorneys, give us a call. Because when that a contract comes back and some attorneys start taking a look at things like vicarious liability and insurance and a whole bunch of other things, you're going to want to have somebody that is a subject matter expert that can get that contract put together. Now the second thing we want you to do when you have that contract is to make sure that all the accessorial charges or anything that could potentially impact your freight rates are clearly spelled out or referenced in the associated rules tariffs. And the third thing we want you to do is to make one final effort to get together with the carrier to determine if there's anything that hasn't been discussed that can be included in the contract that could potentially make it easier for the carrier to service your account and reduce your cost. Now with each and every two minute warning, we're here to remind you, we're on your team, we're here to help and we're passionate about seeing you be successful, which is why if you want some tools that can help you negotiate better transportation contracts, or if you want references to some great transportation attorneys, give us a call today. Oh, one final thing. We've included a link here to the Ice Bucket Challenge. Uh, some people here at Transact nominated me and thought it'd be a great idea if they could put a cold bucket of ice all over me. It's for a great cause, ALS. And we're doing this in honor of, for example, Jim Fuller, one of our customers that passed away because of ALS, and people like Augie Nieto. But more importantly, it's going to be posted to our Facebook page. And if you want to take part in this challenge, here's what we'll do for you. We'll send you one of our famous We Don't Pay Our Bills Transact Does t-shirt. Thanks for your time. <laughs>